Hello everybody, welcome to an open house. Uh, right now we're in the middle of our segment of reviewing the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John C. Maxwell. So, uh, it, it's been it's been phenomenal so far and um, you know, as I'm diving deeper into the book, I'm just learning the importance of leadership and, and just how valuable it is. You know, right now we're on the, uh, chapter seven, the law of respect. Now, you know, the, the chapter begins by reading that people naturally follow leaders stronger than themselves. And, you know, definitely I wholeheartedly agree, agree with that. You know, I'm just looking at, you know, my uh, work, uh, you know, at Power Stop and, and how, you know, many times I don't focus on it, but there, there have been a few times when, you know, people, you know, tell me about how much they respect me. You know what I mean? Even people in other departments. I know recently um, uh, one of my employees, their boyfriend, came back uh, with a gift from Mexico. And, you know, it's a guy that's only say hi and bye to. You know, I don't really, um, you know, have a whole lot of conversation. But, you know, the... The, the guy, the gentleman, you know, came back and gave me this, um, this wallet from Mexico. And, you know, I was asking, you know, her girl, you know, his girlfriend that works in my department. I said, why, why did you, you know, why did your boyfriend come back, you know, with a gift? when I don't even talk to him that often. And I, I remember, you know, she basically said in Spanish that, you know, he respects you. So obviously... You know, he watches me, you know, and I know she talks about me to him. You know what I mean? Whether she agree with some things I do and don't agree. Um, but it speaks loudly. And, and then, you know, you know, her as well. You know, I always tell my team, I said, I say, you know, tell me if we have problems. Let me know. I'm here to solve problems. You know, especially if it's, you know, problems among, you know, people in the, in the department. And, uh, you know, she had broke down in tears. And, you know, I understand uh, quite a bit of Spanish where I can have a conversation, but then there, there's times when I don't understand. And um, it was a point where, you know, someone translated it. And uh, he said that she was saying that sometimes I don't tell you things. Because this happened many, many times. I, I ask over and over. You know, why didn't you tell me about this problem? Why didn't you tell me about this problem? You know, it's happened several times. And, you know, he basically, you know, uh, was saying, because she was in tears, you know, he, he said basically she's saying, you know, she respects, um, respects you a lot, you know, and that's one of the reasons why she don't tell you things. And so, you know, when, when people say them things, I don't, you know, many times when, when, when people show respect for me and things like that, I, I personally uh, don't focus on it, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I try not to be, you know, self-aware. You know, I try not to be focused on what other people think of me, but be focused on what uh, God thinks of me and just me staying focused on that. Um, but, you know, you know, the power of respect, you know, when people respect you and it's things I noticed they they accept decisions that you make and they get in alignment with it you know some uh, it was another interesting quote that was in here um, the leader must know must know he knows and must be able to make it abundantly clear to those around him that he knows and there was one more the greatest test of respect comes when a leader creates major change in an organization. Well, and these are two that, you know, you know, I have experience with, particularly, um, you know, I'm training a new analyst right now, and, you know, this guy, you know, is, is uh, working with me on Excel, you know, we're doing a whole bunch of formulas and things like that. And so, you know, we were just even working today. This, this, this was something that was going on today. 
you know what I mean? We're working through the formulas. And it's not so much that I know so much about the organization that I'm able to work so well with Excel, but uh, sometimes, I, you know, when I work with him, I realized how well I work with Excel because, you know, we're just going through, you know, formulas and things like that and, and you know, you know, figuring out, okay, how, how do we best, you know, come up with this formula to do what we need it to do. And it, it's like when we get to talking every time, this guy's head is just spinning. He's like, you know, he's an intelligent guy, you know, went to college for four years, you know, was pursuing his MBA. You know, he works at also as, he works part-time with us. He works also as like a market analyst for another company. So he's not a dumb dude, you know. But, you know, when he come, he, he just says, Steve, you know, I just need a minute to even think about what we're doing because I'm listening to you. I'm looking at the work. Um, and he says, it's taking time for me to understand. I don't even, you know. So, and, and I'm saying that to say that just, just relating to these quotes, and when I talk to my other employees, you know, one gift that I thank God, you know, that he's given me is I, I'm able to really think fast, you know what I mean, in terms especially, you know, solving, you know, uh, business or mathematical problems. And oftentimes when my team may talk for 20, 30 minutes, you know what I mean, about something or discussing the one amongst themselves, they can come to me. And, you know, I basically will, can break down basically, you know, what we need to do in probably about 10 seconds. You know what I mean? And then I will come back and I ask them, do you have a better idea? And usually the answer is no. You know, so, you know, my team has respect for me. And, and part of that reason they have respect and just going back to, you know, these quotes is that I do make a lot of major changes. You know, we're making, you know, we're moving our whole section you know, we're, you know, we're changing um, the way we sell. There, there's been multiple big changes in the organ in our particular uh, department. And I've been able to, you know, break it down simple enough so that they can, you know, adapt, giving them time to adapt. And basically everything that's going on in the department, if they ask me, I know what we need to do. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, knowledge is important. You know, knowledge is important, but also when people see that you think faster than they do and you're able to solve problems faster than they do, uh, you know, that's even beyond knowledge. You know what I mean? People respect that. You know, they naturally gravitate to that. You know, they, they you know, my, my team, oh, my team leads say all the time, my team, the team works better when I'm there. You know what I mean? And, you know, when... And, and, and to me, it's not just because, I, you know, you know, I'm able to think fast and things like that, but also I manage myself, you know what I mean, with dignity outside of this company. I manage my family with integrity. When you manage yourself with greater, you know, integrity, when you manage yourself with... Uh, dignity and you are pleasing God, there's something in you that will gravitate to people, okay? People can't always put their finger on it, but they know it. You, you can tell if somebody has integrity or carry themselves a certain way even outside of the company. So, you know, all of that plays into part, I, I, you know, definitely if you're, uh, uh, you know, man and woman of God, be a person of integrity, be a person of your word. All of that plays in part of me, me because I, I noticed, and I think I mentioned this before, there's a special empowerment from the spiritual realm for you to lead people if you hold yourself to a higher standard than your than the people that you're leading you know so you know that you know that's what that is this is the law of respect you know i don't i don't you know i didn't mean to really go as long as i did but you know 
Um, you know, respect is important, but most importantly, you gotta respect yourself. You have to lead yourself. You 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 know, you gotta, you know, uh carry yourself in the same way that you're at work or church or at home. You gotta carry yourself the same way. You can't switch it up because it will show. It will show. So I'm about to get out of here. You all have a great night.